Shifting gear now, a Ugandan automotive company has built a sol solar-powered bus. Kira Motors Corporation says the innovation is a big step in the direction of easing public transport with an eco-friendly approach. A local solution to a global problem. It all started as a student project five years ago. There's been a lot of modification, meaning you make and uh, break as well as uh, improve the systems. And being a prototype, there's always more that you can do to a system. The 35-seater bus is named Kayola, which could locally mean mass carrier. Fitted with over 10 solar panels, its engine entirely runs on energy from the sun that supplies its two batteries that serve as power banks. Two banks are such that set in such a way that one, as one bank is running, the other is receiving charge from the uh, solar panels. And when the other, uh, the, the voltage runs low, then you have uh, it changed to the other uh, battery bank. Just like how you monitor the battery on your phone or laptop, in a similar way the driver can tell his charge from here. The bus is designed to run up to 80 kilometers at full charge at a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Campaigners of clean energy have welcomed the idea of solar-powered vehicles. Uganda has many vehicles on the road that emit gases deemed dangerous to the ecosystem. So many initiatives include the UN habitant are really gearing towards ensuring that we have zero tailpipe emissions. We are going into renewable energy sources for powering buses and trains and things like that. This is a very critical aspect and that's why for us here at Kira Motors Corporation we are saying that if that is the future of mass mobility in the urban centers of the world, we should make sure that we start prospecting the opportunities for that future right now. The state-funded Kira Motors says it's refining the bus before going commercial. Production is expected to start in less than five years. Julius Mugambwa, SABC News, Kampala.